वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला आई एम डॉक्टर हर्षद राणे टीचिंग द सब्जेक्ट कॉम्प्यूटर एडेड इंजीनियरिंग एंड टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ दिस सेशन इज लैग्रेंजेस पॉलिनोमियल फॉर शेप फंक्शन आर द टॉपिक्स कवर्ड ड्यूरिंग द सेशन ऑफ टूडेज द वॉय फर्स्ट इज बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ लैग्रेंजेस पॉलिनोमियल फंक्शन एंड देन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस लैग्रेंजेस पॉलिनोमियल फंक्शन टू इवेल्युएट द शेप फंक्शन फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एलिमेंट्स the elements includes two noded bar element three noded bar element and five noded bar elements also the lagrange's application of lagrange's polynomial function for two dimensional elements is explained in this topic by considering the example of four noded rectangular element we know that the lagrange's polynomial function it is the function which is used for the continuity of basic unknown variable is to be satisfied the lagrange's polynomial function in mathematical form for one dimensional element is given by lk of x is equal to my of m is equal to 1 to n where m is not equal to k the x minus xm divided by xk minus xm let in as equation 1 thus for n is equal to 5 and k is equal to 3 we will get l3 of x is equal to in bracket x minus x1 into x minus x2 into x minus x4 into x minus x5 divided by x3 minus x1 x3 minus x2 x3 minus x4 into x3 minus x5 let it as equation 2 thus it is found from the equation 1 that the equation 1 takes the value equal to 0 at all the points except the k point at point k the value of equation 1 is always unity this is about the lagrange's polynomial function now application of this lagrange's polynomial function for two noded bar element the typical two noded bar element is shown in the figure it consists of two nodes node 1 and node 2 with line element the Lag lagrange's polynomial function in general form can be written as lk is equal to x minus x1 into x minus x2 in the similar way x minus xn divided by xk minus x1 xk minus x2 in the similar way xk minus xn hence for n is equal to 2 and k is equal to 1 we will get the n1 which is equal to l1 which is equal to x minus x2 divided by x1 minus x2 which is equal to x2 minus x divided by x2 minus x1 this is the same shape function which we have obtained in shape functions calculation with the help of natural coordinates also when we k is equal to 2 we will get n2 is equal to l2 is equal to x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 it is also same as found earlier in the evaluation of shape functions by using natural coordinates the variation of n1 and n2 is shown in the figure at node 1 the value of n1 is 1 and n2 is 0 at node 2 the value of n1 is 0 and n2 is 1 thus this shape functions n1 and n2 varies linearly between node 1 to two now lagrange's polynomial for three noded bar element the typical three noded bar element is shown in the figure 
having three nodes node 1 and 2 at the termination nodes while node 3 is at the half of the distance between node 1 and 2 the general Lagrange's polynomial is in the mathematical form can be written as lk is equal to x minus x1 into x minus x2 in the similar way x minus xn divided by xk minus x1 into xk minus x2 in the similar way xk minus xn and for n is equal to 3 and k is equal to 1 we will get the first shape function n1 is equal to l1 is equal to x minus x2 into x minus x3 divided by x1 minus x2 into x1 minus x3 for k equal to 2 we will get the another shape function n2 is equal to l2 is equal to x minus x1 into x minus x3 divided by x2 minus x1 into x2 minus x3 for k is equal to 3 we will get the third shape function n3 is equal to l3 is equal to x minus x1 into x minus x2 divided by x3 minus x1 into x3 minus x2 the variation of this shape function for three noted bar element is shown in the figure at node 1 n1 is equal to 1 while at node 2 and 3 and value of n1 is 0 at node 2 n2 is equal to 1 while at node 1 and 3 the value of n2 is 0 similarly at node 3 n3 is equal to 1 while at node 1 and 2 the value of n3 is 0 the variation of n1 n2 and n3 is shown in the figure now the Lagrange's polynomial function can be obtained for 5 noted bar element. A typical example of 5 noted bar element is shown in the figure. It consists of 2 nodes at the termination points and 3 nodes equidistant from the each other. Here n is equal to 5. For k is equal to 1, we will get first shape function n1 is equal to l1 is equal to x minus x2 into x minus x3 into x minus x4 into x minus x5 divided by x1 minus x2 into x1 minus x3 into x1 minus x4 into x1 minus x5 for k is equal to 2 we will get second shape function n2 is equal to l2 is equal to x minus x1 into x minus x3 into x minus x4 into x minus x5 divided by x2 minus x1, x2 minus x3, x2 minus x4 and x2 minus x5. For k equal to 3, we need the third shape function n3 is equal to l3 is equal to x minus x1 into x minus x2 into x minus x4 into x minus x5 divided by x3 minus x1 into x3 minus x2 into x3 minus x4 into x3 minus x5 for k equal to 4 we get the fourth shape function n4 is equal to l4 is equal to x minus x1 into x minus x2 into x minus x3 into x minus x5 divided by x4 minus x1 into x4 minus x2 into x4 minus x3 into x4 minus x5 similarly for k equal to 5 the fifth shape function is n5 is equal to l5 is equal to x minus x1 into x minus x2 into x minus x3 into x minus x4 divided by x5 minus x1 into x5 minus x2 into x5 minus x3 into x5 minus x4 the variation of this shape function is shown along the length of the bar element in the figure each shape function has the value of 1 at their corresponding nodes and the remaining nodes the shape function value of this uh, remaining node is 0 for example at node 1 n1 is 1 while at node 2 3 4 and 5 value of n1 is 0 
like in the same way that node 2 3 4 and 5 are shown in the figure now lagrange's polynomial function for two dimensional element case generally this lagrange's polynomial function holds good for one dimensional element case but it can be applied or extended to the two or three dimensional element cases these elements are including four noded two dimensional element nine noded two dimensional element as well as cubic and hexahedral elements the extension of this function is done by simply forming a products of the functions which holding good for the individual dimensions means if we want to find the function n1 in two dimensional case and if the epsilon and eta are the two dimensions of any element in natural coordinate system then we can write n1 is equal to l1 of epsilon into l1 of eta now consider the example of two dimensional four noded element the two dimensional four noded element is shown in the figure in the with the natural coordinates the node 1 has natural coordinates minus 1 minus 1 node 2 has natural coordinate 1 minus 1 node 3 has natural coordinate 1 1 and node 4 has a natural coordinates minus 1 1 the natural coordinates is along the x axis is epsilon and along the y axis is eta so we can write n1 is equal to l1 of epsilon into l1 of eta therefore n1 is equal to l1 of epsilon into l1 of eta which is equal to epsilon minus epsilon 2 epsilon 1 into eta minus eta 4 divided by epsilon 1 minus epsilon 2 into eta 1 minus eta 4 this is because the node 1 is associated with for, uh, node 2 in the epsilon direction and node 4 in the neta direction therefore we will by putting the values of neta neta 4 neta 1 and epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 we will get epsilon minus 1 divided by minus 1 of minus 1 into neta minus 1 divided by minus 1 minus 1 this gives rise to 1 by 4 times 1 minus epsilon into 1 minus neta Similarly, for n2 or second shape function at node 2 which is associated with node 1 in epsilon direction and node 2, node 3 in neta direction. So, the L2 epsilon into L2 neta will be equal to epsilon minus epsilon 1 divided by epsilon 2 minus epsilon 1 into neta minus neta 3 divided by neta 2 minus neta 3. Therefore, we will get by putting the values of epsilon 2, epsilon 1, neta 2, neta 3, we will get epsilon minus of minus 1 divided by 1 minus of minus 1 into neta minus 1 divided by minus 1 minus 1, which is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 plus epsilon into 1 minus neta. Similarly, for third shape function n3 is equal to L3 of epsilon into L3 of neta. The third node is associated with second node by the neta coordinates and fourth node by the epsilon coordinates. So L2 of epsilon into L2 of L3 of neta is equal to epsilon minus epsilon 4 divided by epsilon 3 minus epsilon 4 into neta minus neta 2 divided by neta 3 minus neta 2. By putting the values of neta 2, neta 3, epsilon 3 and epsilon 4, we will get n3 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 plus epsilon into 1 plus neta. Similarly, for fourth shape function, n4 is equal to l4 of epsilon into l4 of neta, which is equal to epsilon minus epsilon 3 divided by epsilon 4 minus epsilon 3 into neta minus neta 1 divided by neta 4 minus neta 1 by putting the values of epsilon 3 epsilon 4 and neta 1 neta 4 we will get the n4 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 minus epsilon into 1 plus neta 
so in general all these shape functions can be written for two dimensional four noted element as ni is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 plus epsilon epsilon i into 1 plus nita nita i okay friends this is about the lagrange's polynomial for evaluating the shape function in one dimensional as well as in two dimensional cases in case of one dimensional shape functions or in case of one dimensional the lagrange's polynomial is given by l l k of x is equal to product product division of uh, product uh, products of x minus x1 into x minus x2 in the similar way x minus x n divided by x k minus x1 x k minus x2 in the same way x k minus x n the shape function n1 for one dimensional case is given by n1 is equal to n1 of uh, l1 of epsilon while in two dimensional cases n1 is given by l1 of epsilon into l1 of nita okay the today's session is over now thank you